time for our medical moment. The U.S. News and World Report has again recognized Spectrum Health's Helen DeVos Children's Hospital in its 2022 Best Children's Hospitals rankings, with a total of four specialty areas being recognized this year. Now, this is the 11th year that the hospital has been included on this prestigious list, and here to tell us more is Dr. Hussain Mirandi. He's the president of Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Good morning, Dr. Mirandi. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. This has got to be exciting. We continually make this list. What does that U.S. News and World Report ranking mean to you? Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about one of my favorite subjects, which is our wonderful Children's Hospital. Uh, it is truly a prestigious honor for us to be again recognized for the 11th year in a row by U.S. News and World Report as one of the top 50 children's hospitals in the United States. It is uh, an exciting uh, day for us uh, to be able to to again uh, be being seen and be able to to be recognized as as a wonderful opportunity for us to care for the kids here in West Michigan and beyond. It is just a gem to have in our right in our own backyard. People may be curious, how are these hospitals ranked? How, how did they rank and make this top 50 list? Uh, U.S. News and World Report uh, takes a look at uh, every children's hospital in the United States and specific areas, including services, outcomes, quality, uh, and patient experience. Uh, historically, we have done uh, very well in this uh, uh, ranking. We've been able to benchmark ourselves against some of the top children's hospitals and continue to show the great work and the dedication that our, our teams have. And it's really a, a, a great opportunity to be able to highlight uh, the wonderful comprehensive care that is provided here in uh, our own backyard here at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Well, let's talk about those programs. I mentioned that there were four that were recognized this time around. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming cancer's in there. Yes, absolutely. Uh, our cancer program has been the longest running uh, program that has been recognized as one of the best in the United States. Uh, we continue to provide life saving care for children here. Uh, and now we're looking at even beyond one of the newest programs that we have added is fertility preservation. Now we have many children that are able to be cured of their cancer and continue to have a wonderful life uh, as they go on. So we want to make sure that we address some of their needs as they grow to become adults. So we're very proud of that program. It's very unique. As you should be. And anytime you can put the word cure and cancer in the same sentence, uh, that brings some smiles to a lot of families. Something else you were recognized for, nephrology. What is that? So uh, kidney, uh, our, our kidney program has also been one of the ones that has historically done very well in its recognition. Uh, one of the areas that we continue to grow in is our kidney transplant or uh, program, which again is another one of those unique programs that you do not find uh, at many children's hospitals. And we're very proud to be able to provide that service here again in West Michigan and beyond. And I know that you guys got some incredible tech on the cutting edge of this stuff when it comes to neurosurgery and neurology. Yes. Uh, that program also has been uh, historically one of our uh, more recognized programs. Recently, we added a, added a division chief of neurosurgery, which uh, will bring much more uh, added uh, clinical services to our program. But also on the technology side, uh, we are one of only 50 places in the United States that has a magnetoencephalogram, or short for MEG, which allows us to look inside the brain to the millimeter and find abnormalities within it, which allows our physicians and the rest of our staff to cure and treat a lot of uh, epilepsy and other uh, findings that we find abnormal in the brain. That's incredible. Down to the millimeter, what technology has done and what we have right here at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. And finally, diabetes and endocrinology. Yes, uh, with uh, continued uh, 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 clinical need for uh, diabetes care for our children. We're continuing to be able to look at opportunities to address these. We find many children that are being diagnosed much earlier in life with diabetes and our teams are there with education and all the treatment modalities to be able to allow that patient to continue to grow and continue to have a wonderful life as they go on to deal with this lifelong challenge that they have with diabetes. Well, obviously we're proud of the work that you guys do and I'm sure you are as well with your staff there. Why is it such a big deal? It really has to feel good for your staff. It really does. I think it, it, it goes to show, again, the dedication that we have uh, uh, and how hard work has been done within this children's hospital. And many, many people are uh, uh, invested in providing that great care for our children. So we are very proud of everything that we're able to do every day. As you should be, Dr. Morandi. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you very much. Have a, a good day. Absolutely. Helen Navas Children's Hospital, we say it again and again. What? 
What an absolute privilege it is to have it right here in our city. You can learn more at spectrumhealth.org slash Helen DeVos Children's Dash US News.